So I just published a video on the official Laravel channel talking about authentication versus authorization. How do you authorize your users to actually view or create or edit things that you want them to do while disallowing them to do the things that you don't want them to do? And one of the things that I forgot to touch on in that video is the difference within a multi-tenant app where you're using a query to gather information from the user. Let's say they have to-dos that are associated with that particular user is there a good reason to use authorization in addition to that? And I think yes. So let's check it out. Okay, so I have an application with a bunch of different to dos created by multiple users. I, I seeded this within my database seeder. And this basically just shows that when you are logged in, I want to only view the to dos that I have created. I don't want to see anyone else's because let's imagine you have more sensitive information. Maybe, you know, it's, it's HIPAA information or maybe it's specific specific to your application on you don't want that information to be seen by multiple different users. And that's typical within most applications. You only want their data to be seen. So how do you stop that from being leaked across your application? As you can see here, I can see all the to do's created across the whole application because we haven't actually narrowed this down just yet. But I was also I would also be able to delete other people's to do's. And that isn't necessarily a good thing. If I was the great one, hello there. You can see um, it's down here, of course, you can see how this would be a great way of now I just want to see ones created by me. Or maybe if you were using teams within an application, you want to see all the ones created by your, your family, your household, your team, your organization. Well, how do we make this happen so that we aren't breaking any security rules? Okay, the first thing that we need to change is actually calling the to do's and, and showing the to do's that are associated with a given person. You can see here in our user model, we have this public function to do so we can call the to do's of an authenticated user like this. Why don't we do that? So in our to do manager, in our with function, instead of just returning all the to do's, which is what we're doing right here, why don't we go ahead and say maybe auth um, user and then we'll go ahead and just call the to do's and why don't we just do that as well so we're sorting them by uh, created ads so let's see what this does so now we just have the to do's created by us great that's awesome but we shouldn't stop there when we're building our applications with this in mind because what happens if for example i in another part of the application I forget to add this information to link it only to this particular authenticated user. Well, as you can see, if that was, uh, you know, if that was just to do all, we're able to still see that information. We're able to still delete that information. Of course, just with the query, if we can automatically rectify this because now it's a little bit harder to delete a to do if you can't see it. But within Livewire you're able to modify any of these public methods. So I could pass an integer of the ID to find this to do and then delete it. And I'm not actually authorized or able to delete that even though I can't see it. So we could run that method on the back end and say, hey, delete this, even if I'm not actually seeing that to do in the first place. So how can we fix this? This delete method, let's go ahead and inspect this and take a look. You can see here that we're calling this delete to do 87. But if I was to modify this, because this is all client side, if I was to modify this and say, let's delete to do, um, let's delete to do five. And before I click that button, let me go and pull open database viewer. So here we go. We have to do's here and we have a to do of five. This is the second one. You can see here it's not associated with my user because I'm not seeing this. So this idea five. Hello there. But now that I modified this, let me go ahead and click delete. Oh, what happened? Let's see. Let me go refresh this. And now we don't have ID number five. You can see how this could potentially be a big security concern. For example, if we had a view page for this to do, and we wanted to say, um, maybe it was just in the URL of maybe it's to do's slash 34, for example, well, I could just automatically put in a two. And then I might, if I'm putting all that information in the query and saying only grab the to do 
if the user is associated with it. Well, that's good. What if I forget that? Well, this is where policies come into play. So in our to-do policy, what we can do is on that view, we could say only return that if the user is associated to that to-do. But what about the delete one? Well, I'm glad you asked. So delete, let's do the same thing. Return user ID if the user is associated to that to-do. So now, if I was to go into our to-do manager again, it's pretty simple. In delete to-do, I can go ahead and say authorize delete to-do. So this authorize is a method that's being called in our Livewire class function that just says, okay, we have the to-do. Is this user, in this case, this authenticated user, authorized to run that delete method for that to-do? Well, why don't we go back and why don't we go ahead and edit this again and we'll say instead of delete to do 87 we'll delete to do six okay let's run delete and now this action is unauthorized that to do is not associated with us again we can kind of double time this and we can say we're going to make this extra secure because just like we're doing right here we only want to show the user the to do's that they're able to view now we could add extra security measures in that policy that they can only view the single parameter, the single to-do that's associated with them. We can do the same thing in this delete to-do. Instead of to-do find, we could say maybe auth user to-do's find or fail ID. So that way, even if we were to remove this, let's see what happens. If we were to go back in here, we'll refresh and then in our delete to do instead of 87 we'll say six again and delete now it's just 404 not found that's not really helpful for the user because if they're trying to do something you know malicious perhaps they're saying that hey there is a security concern because i'm not unauthorized to do that but this is where we can kind of double down again we can add multiple security measures with policies to say not only are we going to ensure that they're only deleting or even viewing things that they're associated with. I also want to make sure that they're actually allowed to do that too. And it's again, it's just a nice fail safe. If I forget to do this and I just say to do find ID, then we're still taken care of. We're still good to go. So hopefully that gives you some clarity into why authorization in the case of a policy is still important within Laravel, within Livewire, especially because you're able to modify some of those methods on the front end. You wanna make sure that the user is actually allowed to modify it. It's a security concern, but it's also just a double measure to make sure you're only giving your users the proper methods, the proper safety, the proper ability to do what you actually want them to do. Keep building, keep creating.